Hey guys, Patrice here with another video, a long time no see. Um, I didn't plan for it to be this long, I really didn't, but just life kind of got away from me with the empties. Um, uh, last weekend I was on vacation, this weekend uh, I, we were all really sick with a cold, um, so yeah, I just kind of, this is the first moment I've had to get done. I'm actually hoping to get two videos done, my empties, and um, I have my Bring Back My Bars and stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen tons of videos. I honestly haven't watched any um, videos on the Bring Back My Bars, the Willy Wonka, or the Mardi Gras collection because I just don't want anyone's influence on what I smell. I haven't even smelled them yet, so... But that's not why we're here. We're here for my empties, so we're going to get right into it. I got a pile here because it's been about a month, I think. So, um, I've got some non wax to get through first. I got through uh, hand soap and apricot vanilla, heirloom peach, apricot vanilla ice cream. I used to be okay with the scent, but I really enjoy this one. Um, yeah, it's a really, really good, like, kind of like a peach ice cream scent, kind of along the lines of what Dumbo is, but Dumbo has mango. So I really enjoyed that one. And I got through a scent circle of weathered leather. I broke it to get it off. This I really, really, it lasted so long. This lasted like a month in my car. Um, I don't have leather seats, so it kind of seems a little off to put it in, but I really enjoyed that one. And that's a really good performer. And I replaced it with apple butter frosting car bar. I have one more of these. Patricia had Gates, you all know her if you're watching me. She had messaged me and asked me if I had any more. I said I had one, I thought. Um, I actually have two, and she said that they are losing scent, so to use them. And this is by far my favorite car bar ever. Um, I put it in, I think, a few days before... A few days before we went on vacation. And then when we went on vacation, we parked my car... Um, never used it for four days and then when I got into this it's all you could smell so this is such a good one I wish Scentsy would bring this back they won't but I wish they would so then I also went through I went kind of dug through and went through um, some of my like business supplies and I still have a bunch of samples and my customers really don't do like they are mainly warmers and wax so I never thought to give them samples so these have these are getting old these are like two years old so when you use them i get through a dish soap and fiesta lime this was nice I'm not a big fan of the dish soap but this one was nice um and i got through all the body products and luna um i got through the hand soap that one was good um and the scent notes on this is jasmine sweet bead berry sandalwood body wash was really nice and so was the body cream the only one that kind of went really off was the hand cream so if you have luna hand cream that's old i recommend trying this because it's not like just pure cream and like grossness it does not good at all okay we'll go through the wax that isn't part of the that isn't oh shoot Ooh, my, my stack is falling over i have it all stacked up just want to check something um, we're going to go through my stuff that's not part of the wax melt challenge, and then we'll go through the stuff that is, and I'll, quite a bit of it's from it. So I'm just going to show you these five bars. I'm not really going to touch on them much, other than good, not good, whatever. Um, every, well last year I had warmed all the, I saved the end of the month and warmed them all, and I ranked them, so I don't really want to give away. So I did a pumpkin cashmere performance was medium light on that one meet at mistletoe again medium light on that one chamomile petals this one was medium strong aloha citrus is about a medium and pineapple rose was a medium strong so again i just don't want to say too much about them because then you'll kind of know my feelings on them but i really wanted to show you that i did warm those um, I got through a cutie pie cupcake, which is sweet clementine, yellow cake batter, and vanilla icing. Vanilla and icing. This one's good. I ha used to have this in my club. I did remove it. It is kind of on the lighter end of scents. Um, I really enjoy it, though. If this came back, I'd pick up more, but 
just the club scent, it's just, I don't think it's quite there for me. I got through a banana nut bread, favorite banana scent, it's bananas, nuts, and spices. I know a lot of people get, like, runts from this candy banana. I, I don't know what I get from it. I don't eat bananas personally. I don't like them, but the smell of them is great, and I really, really love this one. If you hear someone eating, Garth is eating right down here. Garth! Maybe I can snatch them up a little bit later. I get through a sugared strawberry. Strawberries, currants, and lemons. Just give myself a little break. I used to love this one. And this one smells kind of fake to me now. Um, I don't know if it's the sugar in it. But yeah, it just kind of smells like... I got a hair or something right in my peripheral. Um, it smells very fake with the lemon. So, unfortunately, I don't really care for this one anymore. But it's okay. Go through a toasted marshmallow. I love this one. I wish this one would come back. I really just grew to love like a toasty kind of scent. Um, this one throws at a medium in my open concept, but it's just it was just a beautiful kind of gooey marshmallow toasted scent. I like that one. And I got through. Oh, I didn't even say the scent notes. I don't even think I have. I don't even have them. And I got through two pistachio ice creams. Pistachio cream, coconut, vanilla meringue. I love this one. This one was in my club. Um, I did remove it because they were sending me two three-year-old bars. And at this point, it's like I'm paying, I'm not even getting a discount. We're paying $8 a bar and you're sending me three-year-old wax with broken clams that were discolored. I love this one though. People say this one is light. It is light. It is not a long performer, but I put this in my bedroom and I just never want to leave my bedroom. You get that beautiful nutty pistachio with a little bit of coconut cream. It's fantastic. Okay, so let's get into my melting bas or my um, melting challenge Patricia does. Um, I haven't done this since November 15th, so so day 15th of November was not something a company would like. This one I kind of struggled with, um, but I did smoke vanilla from Ella After. I think vanilla is an excellent choice for um, company. And that smoky kind of scent just kind of um, elevates it a little bit. This one was like medium light, so it wouldn't offend anyone. I don't think I'd repurchase it, though, just because it didn't perform the best, but it was a good scent for a company. Day 16, use up a straggler, and I chose my loaf from Britta and Samhain. Pumpkin latte, zucchini bread, pumpkin pecan waffles, sweet and creamy. Um, this one is fantastic. Oh, I love this one so much. Britta just can do no wrong to me. This one is fantastic. I would buy this again. Great performer, too. Day 17. Melt a butter or a bread scent. And I went with Ella After's Real Horror Show Film, Cider Lane, and French Baguette. If you guys know Rose Girl's Cider Delight, this smells identical to it. It is so good. I have grown out of love with cider lane i like it but i've grown out of love this one i'd probably pick up one more but it's just not a die hard for me anymore day 18 and i'll present for disney princess or mickey mouse and i went with paper ballerina sweet lilac cotton candy and fluffy marshmallow this is a scent that i think a princess would wear probably more juvenile but i love the smell of lilacs mixed with anything sweet Lilacs will always remind me of my grandfather. He always had lilac bushes outside of his house. I like this one. I would pick up more, and it was a great performer. Day 19. My ascent for the when the weather is chilly. And I did Dress to Chill. Blackberry Vanilla Balsam. I love Blackberry Vanilla Balsam. I think my favorite is definitely uh, Ebony Violet. She does a great Blackberry Vanilla Balsam, but this one comes in second. It's a great performer, and it smelled amazing. Day 21, melt. Just one second. I'm sorry, I had to blow my nose if that's too much information. Um, day 20, melt this one to remind you of being a kid. This one I kind of struggle with because, as you know, I'm pulling from my basket that I've already, like, pre-selected. Um, if I didn't have that, I would have melted a vanilla scent. My mom loves vanilla. But I went with coconut lemongrass, who's my parents' house. It's always immaculate. My mom always has our my house, our house, her house clean. 
It always smells great in there, so I went with a clean scent, and she loves coconut, so. Day 21, melt a gingerbread scent. Sorry. Um... I went with Ella after gingerbread and swords, gingerbread, eggnog, brand with sugar. Gingerbread, not my favorite thing. This one was okay, but again, it's just gingerbread is not a love for me. Um, I do enjoy it sometimes with the blend, but I wouldn't go out of my way to pick up gingerbread. So it's not a repurchase, but it performed really well. Day 22, melt something with holiday memories. Um, I did License to Chill, Buttercream Frosting, Vanilla Balsam, Waffle Comb. Um, yeah. I don't know what you need to say more. Christmas, it's baking, it's trees, it's all this. I think I melted this. Did I melt this again? I might have melted this again for another one. I'm having, I'm kind of repeating myself a lot to you guys just because it used to be when I loved a scent, I would just buy so much of it, and then it's all dated at the same time, so I'm trying to use them all. So I'm really kind of reusing it, but, so I'm, I apologize if you've heard this a million times, but, yeah. So, that was a good one. I love that one. I love tree and buttercream scents. Fantastic. Day 23. Melted cranberry scent. I went with a little after span in the month mine. Vanilla cranberry peaches, Earl Grey tea. This one was okay. I didn't... I'm not a massive fan of tea. It just has like that really astringent note to my nose. It, it performed really well, but tea scents just aren't my favorite. Um, day 24, Melted re Retail Wax. I don't have any like Walmart or anything, so I went with Scentsy's Blue Agave and Melon. I don't have the scent notes for whatever reason. Um, when this came out, I think this came out in the summer collection, I was like obsessed with this. I had it in my club. I took it out eventually. Um, melon scents, again, are not a love of mine, but this one does it very well. I would pick up more of this, like one or two. I think I do have a couple more, but again, not a huge love. Day 25, uh, Melt the Vendor Wax. I went with Ella Afters, Ichabod Crane, Teacher's Pet, and Peach Cobbler. It, uh, teacher's pet is apple fritters and marshmallow maybe something like that this one's good it that mixed with the peach cobbler and apple I love those two I love peach cobbler especially on its own but mixed with these is fantastic just one second I gotta pause the video Garth is meowing Garth is getting to be a big boy now say hi say hi Garth he doesn't want to be here at all. He hates it. <gasps> no. What a mess of a video. I'm not re-recording this. So, <laughs> anyways, Gar says hi. Um, day 26. Melted scent gifted to you, and I did. So it's like this: it's Petal Pals from Scentsy. Patricia gave this to me. She knows like this scent. I love this scent. Um, I melted it at my grandfather's. I didn't really care for the scent. And then I melted it there and I fell in love with it. I put the scent, two cubes, in my upstairs bathroom. So this is my kitchen, my living room. It's like an open concept. And then just right next door is the upstairs bathroom. I put two cubes in this. It like blew me out of the living room. It was so strong up here. I had to put the other three cubes downstairs in our open concept. It was really nice down there, but it was so incredibly strong up here. Like, like 12 out of 10. One of the strongest scentsy scents I've ever worn. This is fantastic for a strong scent. It, you have to like rose. I did not like rose for a long time. I am really coming around to rose. Um which is strange, but I really enjoyed that, and I would pick up more. Day 27 was a free day. You could melt whatever you wanted, and I chose Ella Afters Wednesdays Blue Wear Pink, Strawberry Pancake, Summer Scoop, Waffle Cone. I love this scent. I love Strawberry Pancake. I love Summer Scoop. Them blended together is mouth-watering, and this is no exception. I love this one, and I would pick up. I think I had a loaf of it at one point. I would pick up so much more. Day 28, melt a musky or a manly scent, and I went with Dark Harbor from Scentsy, Kefir Lime, Blue Green Mint, Ocean Lavender, and Amber. This is like my favorite masculine aquatic scent, 
it just like I could hug a man that smells like this and never let him go. My boyfriend doesn't wear cologne, which doesn't bother me, but this is so good. If this came back, I would pick up so much more too. I don't think it's club worthy because I do have like my favorite masculine scent is Woodland Suede. But I might go in the club for a little bit or pick up like five or six bars. This performed amazing. This would not die. This was like four days in my bedroom. Love this. Day 29. If your tree is up, melted evergreen scent. If your tree is not up, melt the pumpkin scent. Well, my tree is still not up because <laughs> we went on vacation and we've been sick. We're going to go get it today. Um, so I did pumpkin snack attack. Pumpkin souffle, zucchini, and cookie dough. This one, anything with zucchini is amazing. This one, I... I don't know if I would purchase this one again just because she has so many more zucchini blends that I love more than this. But this one was a really, really good one. Um, day 30. Melt a pie scent. And I went with Ella Afters Coconut Cream Pie. Buttery Coconut, Burnt Sugar Crystals, Vanilla Pie Crust. This one's fairly light. Um, it smells good in the bag. But yeah, it just it is very, very light in the bag. It was very light warming. So I wouldn't pick up more. But I love the smell of coconut cream pie. Day one. Melt the scent that starts with R or P. I went with P with Ill Afters Peppermint Street Posts. Peppermint American Cream Coconut Shortbread Cookies. This is so good. So good, guys. You don't know. This one's like kind of confusing. Because the peppermint is definitely minty. Um, that American cream is kind of like body care, and then that coconut shortbread cookies is edible. So this is confusing, but it is so good, and it threw really, really well. I did not want to take this out. I waited till it was officially done. I do with all of them anyways, most of them. But that one, I just wanted to keep warming it over and over again. Um, day two, melt a scent associated with holiday decorating. I went with British Christmas cookies, icy peppermint sugar cookies. My cats are fighting. So that's fun. Um, we always bake when we decorate. We used to do, um, I forget what kind of squares they were. My mom makes homemade donuts. We make cookies. She is the best baker. She is the epitome of a housewife. I will never live up to who she is as a housewife. So that's just what that reminds me of. But that's a good one. 100% would repurchase it. Definitely her icy peppermint definitely is peppermint. It really reminds me of like how Rose Girls, when she has her peppermint in it, is peppermint forward. Um, but it was still really good. Blended with the sugar cookies. Day three, melted evergreen scent. I went with our evergreen and grapefruit, fir needle, white cedar, and grapefruit. This one, again, used to be a favorite of mine. I definitely found more uh, tree scents that I love more than this one. Um, like I love very snowy spruce and I love icicles and evergreen more than this, but this was still a really good one. And, but the performance on it wasn't great. It was like a one day and it was done. Normally with tree scents, it's two for me, but anyways, if I seen this in a flash sale, I might pick up a couple more, but I might not. Day four, melted cookie scent. And if you guys know me, you know what cookie scent I picked? Caramel sugar cookie. Cream caramel, vanilla bean, and sugar. I love the scent. I've talked about this, I think, the last, like, two or three because I had so many stocked up. Um, what I've been warming. I love this one. Best caramel scent ever. My boyfriend did not like this. <laughs> this is the first time he's ever said anything about, like, this scent. I put this in our open concept. And he goes, what are you warming? And I'm like, uh, caramel sugar cookie. And he goes, I was like, you don't like it? He goes, no. And I'm like, well... Normally, the scent will, like, dissipate pretty quick, so don't worry about it. We left, came back later that night. He goes, I thought you said the scent would go away. I actually had to remove this one for him. So I guess this is a scent I'll melt when he's not home. Love this one. Not boyfriend approved, though. Day five, melt a scent with the color in its name. I went with Blueberry Rush. It was blue. I don't know if you can see the remnants of the wax. I don't have the scent notes. 
I don't like blueberry scents. This is a very fake blueberry to me. If I'm going to go with blueberry, I'm going with blueberry cheesecake. But I have like three of these because I thought I liked it. That's a problem. Your nose changes so much. Or mine has. So would you buy stuff, you stock up on it like three or four years ago. Your scent preference might change in those three years. So I'm really learning not to do that. And especially in my Scentsy Club, if I find myself going like, oh, I don't love this as much as I do, I remove it because I'm going, oh, my nose is changing. So this performance was medium, but I wouldn't pick up more. Very fake blueberry to my nose. Day six, melt the sweaty soy or scoopable wax. So I did uh, apple s'mores. Uh, I actually went through three this month. See how sweaty they get? Since he's notorious for this freaking sweaty red wax. So I just want to show them. I didn't melt them all at the same time, but I just didn't want to talk about it early. So this is Harvest Apple Cinnamon Glaze, Coconut Milk, Toasted Marshmallow, Vanilla Cream, and Warm sand, warm Cedar Wood. This is one of my favorite scents. This will never come out of my club. It's such a good performer. This is a love or hate it scent. I love it. I know Patricia loves it. I know there's a few more of you here on YouTube that love it. If you don't like it, let me know down below. Because to me, I don't understand how you can. You get that apple, you get that toasted marshmallow, a little bit of woods. It just, it metal, it's such a beautiful medley. Favorite apple scent of all time. Oh, I love that one. What day was that one? Six, so we're doing day seven. Melt white or blue wax. And I did jammy time. Um, I've never melted jammy time before in my life. <laughs> I have melted Scentsy since 2014, 13. I have never melted jammy time. This is so good and such a good performer. This definitely reminds me of the Bender Wax, like, fluffy towels a little bit. Um, I think I have my Christmas tree decorations out. My cat deciding he wants to try to get in the tote. Maybe the first thing in the morning when they're full of it shouldn't be a good time. But anyways, I'm going to try this in the laundry when I'm done. I have I, I still have a bunch of laundry I have to get through. But yeah, this one was a good one. This performed for days in my son's bathroom. Day 8. Uh, Melt Wax makes you think of a song. I went with Pina Colada Cha Cha because it reminds me of a Pina Colada song. Um, I know Patricia would sing right here. Um... <laughs> it's uh I don't want to right yet uh coconut pineapple white rum vanilla bean this is in my club it won't it won't leave my club until it comes back I love this one it smells exactly like a pina colada it is strong it is lovely it is great if you like any kind of pina colada or coconut rum scents give this one a try it's fantastic Day nine, melt the festo shape or scent that starts with D. I went with D. I went with Dustin Cinnamon, uh, Cinnamon Glaze, Baklava, Caramel Cake, and Apples. This one is so good, guys. So good. You get that really, like, really creamy, like, um, caramel with apple. And then you get that cinnamon bakery onto it. This is so good. And it's such a good performer. I would pick up way more of this if it came back. If she... She's not really restocking right now. She's in school, so I'm really hoping she comes back at some point when I'm done all my vendor wax to, like, pick it up and melt it right away. And then today is day 10 and it is Melt Mint Scent. I went with Adolfo Pirelli from Mel After. Shade and Cream, Peppermint, Vanilla, and Red Delicious Apples. One of my favorite mint scents. Apples and mint are so freaking good together. Oh, and then mixed with that, like, vanilla and shaving cream, it kind of, like, makes it fluffy kind of smell. I love this one. 100% would pick up more of that. That's a repurchase and always will be. Anyways, guys, that's it. That is my melting, or my what I've been warming. It's a lot, but it's been about a month. Um, yeah, probably now won't do one until January. It's just next weekend is busy the weekend after is kind of Christmas stuff the weekend after my boyfriend is on call so it'll probably be like this first weekend of January before I get a chance it is really hard for me to find time since I'm sorry a little bit of story time you can if you want to click off that is absolutely fine with me um since moving uh up 
for my boyfriend's job, um, we spend a lot more time together and I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. Please don't think I am. Um, but my work has become more crazy. So I do the same thing. I do uh, traffic control or flagging for our power company here. Um, but I work late, at least two or three days a week here. Um, when I lived in my old place, I would be off at two or three in the afternoon. My hair is running nuts. Two or three in the afternoon. So I had time before I got home. Usually now, sometimes he's home before me, so I can't film. Weekends, we are together every weekend. Before, he used to drive up here to spend time with his family. Now we are together every weekend. Um, again, not complaining, but I just, I don't have as much time to film. So I'm really, I'm pushing it back. So anyways, but I hope you guys stick around and still watch when I do post. Um, I still enjoy talking to you guys. I still watch wax films. I, I don't comment on a lot of people's if you film. It's just a lot of times at work when I'm standing on the road. Um, I have my phone tucked into my bra and I'm listening to you guys talk. It kind of gets me through the day. <laughs> Um, so yeah, anyways, um, uh, thank you for watching. I am going to try to film my, bring back my bars right now and get them both posted for you guys today. So you get a double dose of Patrice today. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.